you don't look like what you've been through. Nah. When you walked down, I said, there's no <laughs> way she's in the 30s. There's no way she got five kids. Yeah. There's no way she's been through that. Like, you yeah. just have joy all yeah. over your mm -hmm. life. And I'm yeah. like, I need some of this joy. Mm -hmm. Let, let's talk about it. So yeah. today, you're winning, right? I mean, you're making Absolutely. six plus figures. Yeah. You know, you're not living in bondage. You're free. I'm curious when you was in that situation, what were you, what was your job? How much money were you making yeah. uh, then? So when I first left, I did not have a job. You I was your, job. your, um, your kind of your stay at home mom. Okay. I homeschooled the kids and I, you know, I was not the one that bought an income at all. So when we left, we had nothing. Okay. And um, and we moved in with a friend, slept on their floor for, uh, I was there for seven months, pregnant with my fifth, with our fifth child. Um, the other floor, other four were in an adjacent room on the floor. And uh, and I want to say it was the best sleep I've ever had mm. on the in floor? my life on the floor and this is how I know when people say you could be in a mansion and not have peace but you could be somewhere else on the floor and have the greatest peace my body needed it like I like it was the best sleep that I had leaving that that first night sleeping on the floor pregnant and that, I think that's just a testament of God Good that he does God. yeah yeah he anyway yeah so no income. And I know a lot of women don't have this story, but it was the church that took care of us. Right. Mm, so so good. we needed gas money. The yeah. church took care of us. Clothes. I had a friend who said, OK, we're going to get food stamps, got on food stamps. So yeah. did all the things that we needed to do to have income because, you know, I was a stay at home mom. I yeah. didn't have that income. So, yeah, the church took care of us. That to me. That's just I, I, I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, but I do know I just felt this literally mm. in my spirit that there's someone watching this show. Yeah. And you just heard her say that she had more peace, more joy sleeping on the floor, mm -hmm. pregnant, no bed, yeah. no couch. And that was the best sleep she ever had yeah. in her life. And some of y'all staying in a nice home, in a beautiful home and on a nice bed. But you're not peaceful and you're ready to get out. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to be the church and we're going to provide a local number for mm. you to call an abusive line and you can get help immediately uh, because you have to get out of that. Mm. And I just really wanted to pause and put that in there because I just felt it on my spirit and just watching your face mm -hmm. yeah. literally saying, hey, listen, that was the best sleep I yeah. ever had in my life. It's yeah. like you were excited <laughs> yeah. about the floor. Yeah. And I was like, oh, how many people are miserable in a yeah. bed? sleeping next to a man that is abusive to them in any form or fashion. Yeah. And we want to get them out. And if that piece is on the floor, we need to get them on the floor. ASAP. Yeah. So, okay. All right. So yeah. you're on the floor. <laughs> right. I right. just felt that in my spirit. You're, 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 you're on the floor and you're, you're, you're best night of your life. Yeah. What's next? How are you how, now? Yeah. What was the first job you had? Yes. Yeah, so my first job was as an administrative assistant. Okay. So we stayed there for seven months. I gave birth to my son while we were there and wow. I was able to to get into a home because of that. Had a friend who um, I just asked. I was like, hey, do you have something? He's like, actually, I do have something. And so making thirty six thousand as an administrative assistant. Yeah. OK, thirty six K as an as a, um, AA. Yes. OK, cool. Great. And then. But my math is still off because you're making mm -hmm. six plus figures right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. I guess right. you, you did you transition into another career? Um, how how are you at six figures right, right now? Right, right. So that's where Bethel Tech comes in. Okay, right? yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's where Bethel Tech comes in. Um, so I'm watching the Anthony O'Neill show, right? <laughs> you know, um, what? I just love having my own people on the show. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. I just love Thank hearing you. testimonies yeah. mm -hmm. from my community. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. All right. So, so I just want to say it was a year ago that I was watching the show and. Ryan here was on with okay. uh, Reggie Thomas and yeah. you know, it was a brown skin guy. There you so go. I'm looking and he's talking about how he went to Bethel Tech and it changed his life and all of this. And, you know, I listen to your podcast while, while I'm making dinner, you know, okay. like so I'm in like the kitchen that. making dinner. I always listen to it. You, do you listen to the podcast or do you watch the YouTube? Uh, YouTube. So okay. YouTube, so you, yeah. YouTube, because yeah. I make some crazy faces. <laughs> so you have it in the ear. Okay. Right, I have it in my ear while I'm all cooking, right. but it's, uh, it's through YouTube. And, uh, and I'm watching it. I'm like, this guy, 
He looks like me. I don't know. I watched the show and I, I literally was like, I want my life to change. I have these kids. And so I'm thinking too, I'm looking at, I used to be able to make one pan of something for my kids. Now I have to make two and you know, they're getting older. And so I'm like, I want things to change too. And so I literally called right after that and I uh, went through the, the interview process. And I think I was enrolled maybe a week or two later. A yeah. Week or two. Yeah. No more than two weeks later, I was enrolled. Here's, <clears throat> I think the main reason why I brought you on the show, there's two main reasons, right? Mm -hmm. The one, the one reason is about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next reason is about you, yeah. Ryan. Uh, mother of five, yeah. going through the stuff that you're going through. And oftentimes I hear mothers of five say, or mothers, periods, oh, it's hard out here. I can never get ahead. Mm -hmm. And not one time when you met with Michelle to talk about this, when I'm hearing you talk, I never heard you speak negative oh. and say, I can't do this. I can't yeah. do that. Your thing was, no, I, I was listening. I yeah. saw. Yeah. I did. Absolutely. And it was, I didn't come up with an excuse like, oh, my mother, I'll never be able to do this. I, like you was like, hey, listen, if I got through that hell, I can get through whatever else God yeah. allows me to get through. Absolutely. And today you're winning. But the special piece about your story was when I first met with Ryan and Bethel Tech was I said, hey, listen, uh, uh, with me transitioning from Ramsey, one of the main reasons why Dave and I both agreed and their team both agreed for me to transition was I really want to focus on the African-American community. And when I first talked with Ryan, I said, Ryan, are y'all going to help me do that? <laughs> and Ryan was like, no, absolutely, bro. We want to help you do that. Of course, we all love everybody. Mm -hmm. Right. But. I want to do that. I want to help people who look like you and I yeah. uh, get into the tech field because I believe techs are making millionaires. Yeah. And Ryan never hesitated. He even told me, bro, I want to come up with scholarship programs mm -hmm. that will help um, African-Americans, minority people who cannot afford to get into it and who do not want to take on debt. We want to provide scholarships for them. And at that time, Ryan, you mm -hmm. were creating a program or doing something to really put that into place. Yeah. And she was, and she, mm -hmm. Ronika was one of the ones who actually qualified for that program. Mm -hmm. Break that down for us. Where did that come about? Because I know you and I were talking about it, but it was already on your heart before me, you even talked about it. Yeah. Where did your heart and your heart literally bleeds into Bethel come into place? I'm like, hey, we want to help all people, but we even want to create some room to help the minority people as well. Yeah, we just feel like this is a wonderful opportunity to fully actualize the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, God said that he made all of us in his image mm -hmm. and that we are brothers and sisters un unified with Christ as the head. Yeah. And so I've been in, you know, education, corporate education space, tech for uh, 10 to 15 years, mm -hmm. and you don't see minorities in tech that mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I think the numbers are, I think less than 7% of the tech Gracious. count population is black. Mm -hmm. And so I just felt like, hey, this is an opportunity to provide access to an in-demand education that leads to high paying, high growth careers. I've seen it happen before. Um, and specifically, you know, I've seen it happen with single moms. It completely transformed their lives. So you are the dream mm. and your testimony is a force multiplier. Mm. Like what God is doing to you, he's doing through you. Mm. There's a, there's a Hebrew word for testimony that says that means to do it again. Mm. And so the people that are hearing this today, hearing your story, there's another Renika out there going through a similar situation who's on the floor yeah. and as she needs hope, mm -hmm. you know, and I love what Bishop Jake says, we have to put the things in the room to make hope happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I feel like Bethel Tech is. Absolutely. We're one of the things that you put in the room to make hope happen. Mm -hmm. And the Lord put it on your heart, listening to this man right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. And you listen to the voice of the Lord, you trusted, you obeyed, and you moved on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now you're here, your life has changed. And so that's what I want for all people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what is the Lord saying to you? And can we put the things in the room to make hope happen? Good yeah. gracious. Yo, real quick, you guys, are you looking to change your career here in the year of 2023? 
If so, look no further than Bethel School of Technology, the only Christian online tech boot camp in the world. According to a recent report, black people make up just about 4% of the US technology workforce. But you see at Bethel Tech, who I've partnered with for this year, they believe that all people, including us black people, should have access to the lucrative and fulfilling opportunities in the tech industry. Now, with their nine month program, you'll gain the essential skills you need to start a successful career career in technology. And let's not forget the earning potential. You see, according to Indeed, the average salary of a software developer in the US is around $103,000. Say what? You know, you can choose from programs like the cybersecurity and UI UX design and launch your tech career or even a tech business ignited with passion and purpose. So listen, we're going to skip the debt and we're going to invest into yourself for just nine months that can change the next nine years of your life. All you got to do is join Bethel Tech today to achieve your career aspirations. Visit anthonyoneal.com slash Bethel or click the link in today's show notes today so you can register and start a new journey of your life. Now, you know what? Let's get back to the show because this is a good one today. Let's keep it about. <laughs> so um, you got a scholarship. I did. And what program did you get into with Bethel? So I did the UI UX design program. UI UX. We just um, had my sister um, Alexis right. on the show and she did the same yeah. program. Is that one of y'all's most popular? Well, that's what Reggie did. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, like, what? He Reggie did do did that. It. Yeah. yeah. Reggie built our yeah. website. Yeah. Yeah. And Reggie yeah. is killing. And mm -hmm. if you're looking for a dope website, you guys, mm -hmm. uh, Bethel Tech is, they're, they're producing some dope. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to say it. Some dope black talent out there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this, this is amazing right here.